I met Lenore and Bill in uh, late 1965. And uh, I'd come out here to study poetry with Robert Duncan. And knew who Lenore was and was sort of overwhelmed to meet this person who had been uh, the basis for one of Jack Kerouac's characters and uh, girlfriend of Gary Snyder's. And I met her and Bill at the Artist Liberation Front meeting actually before, but that's where we started to become friends. And she was the first person I ever met who gave me an idea of what um, a Buddha might be imagined to be. I remember days and days and days in the Chestnut Street house while she was sewing beaded curtains with this implacable calm and this great big yes. I never heard a no that I remember, just a big yes. And she had an interest in Buddhism, and it was years and years later that I began formal study of it. And I haven't reappraised that early conclusion, that she had a very deep and profound insight which she just lived, and it was from that center, that still point, that she impressed everyone. For those of you who might not have met her or might not know who she was, I just wanted to read one short little quote, something that she wrote that impressed me. Those who read modern poetry do so for pleasure, for insight, and sometimes for counsel. The least they can expect is that the poet who shares his visions and experiences with them do so with no hypocrisy. To compromise poetry through fear is to atrophy the psyche. To compromise poetry through expediency is the soft, small murder of the soul. So before she was born, she was here. And while she lived, she was not separate from anything. And we'll see her again in the rain.